Hello, geometry, and welcome to video one on lesson four or five, congruence in right triangles. So right triangles is actually a pretty big deal in this class. Um, there's a whole chapter uh, dedicated to right triangles. But here we're talking about congruence. Um, again, because the right triangle is special, there's a special congruence for it. Um, let me just draw a quick picture over here of a right triangle, just to uh, revisit the pieces and parts. Okay. So uh, this is a right triangle. Uh, the two sides that make the right angle are called the legs. And then this long side opposite the legs is called the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. H-Y-P. Hypotenuse. Okay. So when I use these words, uh, make sure we are uh, understanding which sides I'm talking about. Okay. All right. So uh, investigation here. When any two pairs of corresponding sides are congruent, can you show that two right uh, two right triangles are congruent? Uh, a, B, C, and D, E, F. All right. So there's actually two situations here. All right. So the first one. Let's say uh, so we have angle C congruent to angle F. Right. And again, they're the right angles. Um, and then let's also say that segment A, C is congruent to df uh, and let's say that segment bc is congruent to uh, ef so these would just be the legs so two congruent leg pairs right so both legs between your right triangles are congruent so leg one leg two well, if you look here, this is just side, angle, side, side, angle, side. Yes, these two triangles would be congruent, but it's nothing special. They're just congruent by an old friend, side, angle, side congruence. So if, two, if the two legs are congruent, then yes, the right triangles are congruent. Now, what about a different situation? All right, situation number two. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start it right. Let's do it up here. Uh, what if, okay, so angle C is congruent to angle F. Again, uh, all right angles are congruent, right? Okay. And now this time, uh, let's call uh, these sides uh, lowercase a, b, and c, and call these sides lowercase d, E and F. And this is more of Pythagorean theorem notation. So let's say that A is equal to D. And that would be a, a pair of legs. So congruent legs. And now let's say that C is equal to F. And this would be congruent hypotenuses. Well, now, right, if we use this leg, right, and this, that would be angle, side, side. Angle, side, side. Uh, they call that SSA congruence, which is not one of our four ways. But, as I mentioned before, the reason I'm using these, these lowercase letters is for Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says, Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. In the other triangle, leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Well, if A and D are equal, then that is going to be the same. If C and F are equal, then that's going to be the same, which is going to force B and E also to be the same. B would also equal E. And now, since B equals E, you have another pair of sides and now you have all three pairs of sides congruent and this means that these two triangles would be congruent and this would be by side 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 congruence so uh, yes, when any two pairs of sides are congruent between the two triangles, then you know that the triangles are congruent. So do right triangles have their own congruence? And the answer is yes. 
right? We call it HL. So in the last slide, the first one was side angle side from the get-go. In the second one, we had to find the third side or show Pythagorean theorem, let you find the third side congruent. So we just skip that. We say, okay, HL works. If you have a hypotenuse in one leg of a right triangle congruent to the hypotenuse in the right leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent, right? So in this picture here, MN and PQ are the hypotenuses, ML and PR are the legs. And here is your right angle, right? So you have a right triangle. You're done, HL. Okay? So I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, I have two practice problems to work on uh, in the second video. All right, so stay tuned.